Praise be to the living God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to talk about today accepted in the beloved. What does that really mean that you and I have been accepted in the beloved? We have been accepted by God. Not because of who we are or what we have done, but we have been accepted in the beloved as part of the body of Christ. Not because we are perfect, because God first chose us from the foundation of the earth. Before He created the foundation of the earth. Before He said, let there be light. He foreknew that you and I would be children of the living God. Glory be to the living God. Isn't that a powerful testimony for you and I today to know that God chose us before the foundations of the earth and have predestined us to be in the body of Christ. I know a lot of people can't seem to grasp that or understand that because they said that's false theology that can't really be true. Then we need to throw out everything that Paul has written because this is what he is saying. This is what he is establishing. And it's difficult for us to be able to understand it because we can't understand truly the mind of God. It is not our mind that can understand God, but it's God's mind who can understand who we are. And that's why we need to go to the Father because the Word says, If any man lacks wisdom, let him go to the Father who hold it back not. But he give to that person who is seeking truly what the truth is. And the truth is that you are accepted in the beloved. Even when you don't feel like it. Even though when you think that you have sinned your way out. You are accepted in the beloved. Now look what he says in the 6th verse. To the praise and the glory of his grace. To the praise and to the glory of of his grace wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved in other words we didn't make ourselves we didn't mold and shape ourselves so that we can fit in the body of Christ but rather it was God who fitly joined us into the body of Christ and made us accepted in the beloved regardless if Someone don't accept us. We are accepted in the beloved because God is the one who placed us in. It is not man who accepted us in. And now we are now a children of God because we give our right hand to man because we became a member of a church. No, absolutely not. It is because God fitly joined us in to the beloved. Praise be to God. God is a great God, my brothers and sisters. He is the Almighty God. He is the only one that can do such a thing for a wretch like you and a wretch like me. He's the only one that can clean us up and make us blameless and holy before Almighty God. He is the only one. Now look how he did it and how he accepted us. And it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Our redemption comes not through our good works, but through His blood. The forgiveness of our sins. The redemption through His blood brings about what? The forgiveness of our sins according to the riches of His grace. Not according to our grace, my brothers and sisters. Not according to what we believe. Not according to what we trust. Not according to what I feel that now I'm no longer a child of God. I might as well stay doing what I'm doing. I might as well stay in this habit that I'm in of rather than casting it aside and recognizing glory be to God that God knew or foreknew that you were going to do this before He accepted you in the Beloved. You say today, well, I'm, I got this uh, sin in my life. I got this in my life. I'm not living life like I ought to live it. Did you not know that God knew this before he chose you? Yes, he did, my brothers and sisters. So we cannot 
go according to our feelings. We can't go according to what others say about us or how they judge us. Yes, we need to confess that sin. Yes, we need to move away from that. Yes, we need to find the way that God wants us to do, to be. Because you know why? Because it will take away from our rewards in heaven. It will taint our fellowship with the Lord, but it will not taint our relationship with the Lord because we've been bought with a price more precious than gold more precious than silver we've been bought by the blood of the lamb as the word of God says right here we have redemption through his blood not through anything we did but through his blood we're given redemption and according to the riches of his grace that's why my brothers and sisters I have made up my mind I'm going to trust the grace of God before I trust the grace of man. Because the grace of man will run short, and it will run short quickly, because man is a respecter of persons, even though God tells us not to be. But he is a respecter of persons, and his grace will run out on you quickly. But I want to thank God that we can trust his grace that continuously pour out on and over and over and over and over again glory be to God and some of us want want some of us want to believe that God's grace runs out and even Peter wanted to believe that because wasn't it Peter who said Lord what if my brother comes against me and sin against me seven times and Jesus Christ told him no Peter not seven times but 70 times seven he can come to you that same day with that same fault and, and, and that same sin against you and then you are called to forgive him your grace got to be that big and I want you to know if God is calling our grace to be that big to forgive like that just imagine how much more he is willing to give us his grace glory be to the living God if only we can understand the magnitude of his grace we will quit worrying about Lord are you able to keep me <laughs> are you that bad that the Lord cannot keep you the Lord would have kept the devil if the devil was willing to come down off of his mount and repent and turn away but he didn't and I don't believe a child of God today is caught in that kind of condition. He may have walked out. He may be doing his own thing like the prodigal son. But I want you to know, the father was there waiting for him. And that's the same way the father is waiting for you to come back. Your relationship has not changed. But your fellowship has been tainted. Come back. God bless you and keep you.